Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to make such a simple, delicious, creamy sriracha baked salmon. Yes! Pegs has this creamy Parmesan salmon that inspired me to make this sriracha one because I've been trying to go dairy-free more so lately. And I'm a really big fan of the sriracha and with the creaminess of the, it's not mayonnaise, we use a aioli, a dairy-free aioli. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be, you can use whatever version you want and then a creamy garlic majestic. And that with the sriracha, it's not that spicy, it's just the best it's a flavor. flavor it's a so Let's just call it what it is. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna start with a quarter cup of the veganaise. Mm -hmm. We also loved paleo. Um, Primal Kitchen has this paleo mayonnaise that uses avocado oil. It's really wonderful. This is a quarter cup of garlic majestic. So basically, it's just garlic cloves pureed to make this creamy. It has a little dressing. black soil in it. So. Yeah, with a little oil. Yeah. And then we have one tablespoon of wheat-free tamari sauce. Love it. Two to three tablespoons of sriracha. We actually get an organic version from Whole Foods. Really wonderful. Yeah, it has a great flavor and it's not too spicy. Yeah, which just is nice, flavorful. We love it. And then a tablespoon to two tablespoons of minced garlic fresh garlic cloves fresh garlic cloves have a pinch of pepper okay. and then a juice of half of a lime but if you don't get that much juice out of it use the whole thing and this is a really good trick when you just juice by hand nothing comes out sometimes like I'm pushing okay, really I feel hard a little bit, a little bit right <laughs> but if you take the fork in it and then you squish it look, look at that it's a tray I love it so yeah we only need half a juice right. but sometimes you know you get a little dry okay. lime so yeah oh, that's awesome. and then a pinch of salt okay and we're just gonna mix this up this is a wonderful marinade yeah and also you don't have to use the tamari it's just a nice little flavor addition. Okay. Well, it just kind of brings it all together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Love it. Looking good. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to set these aside and now we have our beautifully cleaned wild Alaskan salmon. Oh, we love Thank this you. stuff. It is so good. Um, and so always good for you. It is. So many Brain, good megas. skin, heart, you name it. This yeah. stuff is a powerhouse. Another good alternative if you don't have salmon is we've been loving steelhead. The steelhead this year, the oh. wild steelhead, it kind of looks just like salmon but thinner. Well, it's also a trout. It's not a salmon. Yeah. And it comes out of Oregon and it's gorgeous and tasty. And actually sometimes it's more mild at times than some salmon that we get. Yeah. So, so. check for bones because... Yeah. And how you check for bones like right now, I can feel like a few, but maybe not. Not the worst yeah. for you. Yeah. But just... I I take if you do get bones you guys I just take a um, tweezer and I mm -hmm. just pick them out if you can't get yeah, them out like with your eyebrow fingers. Eyebrow hair tweezers. It's so versatile. I'm telling Whatever you. Whatever you have on hand. When I have really long nails I can use them. <laughs> that takes <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, no. But make sure you just start coating it nicely and dripping it down the side and again I'm like drilling. You want all of this sauce because it bakes so yummy and then it's like the flavor, you use this as like the dipping sauce. And it. then depending on what you're serving it with, then it's like if you have like green beans or even if you serve it with a rice, mm -hmm. the sauce kind of plays into everything else in your plate and it's a wonderful Delicious. addition. So our oven's been preheating to 350 degrees and we're going to let it bake for 20 to 25 minutes. Get Perfect. nice and flaky. Yay! And it goes. And brown. And deliciousness. Oh, wow. Look at Look that. At Bubbling this, this goodness. Perfection. <sighs> oh, my goodness, you guys. So easy. 20 minutes later. This was a little bit thinner of a piece of salmon. Has that been so cooking 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Well, so again, depending on the fish and the thickness will vary. Sometimes it'll only need 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might need some 10 minutes. And others might take up to 20 minutes. So we have we are putting this on a beautiful bed of arugula oh. and I love the bitterness with the creamy texture, the creamy sauce of this salmon. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. 
And if personally for us, we like it a little undercooked and you want to always want the fish to be super flaky. So yeah, it's moist and flavorful, mm -hmm. not so dried out as much. Yeah. Okay. So for this full recipe, you can go to currygirlskitchen.com where we're constantly posting other fun, delicious recipes. And if you don't follow us, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. where we're po constantly posting other yummy ideas to pair with this. And if you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get delicious recipes into your mailbox every Wednesday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Give it a try. <sighs> Tell me what you think. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's like perfectly cooked, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Rich without feeling too guilty about it. Totally. Oh, my God. And I love... Oh, I just bit into a garlic. Mm. Yum. Oops. That was good. <laughs>